Hi and welcome back to the High Dancer region, I'm Mads and today we're going to look at some old fake mon arts. Okay, so just to clarify, many of these were made, this, this first generation was made when I was around 8 years old. I have older than that as well, but I kind of made a remake of it when I was around 8. So many of the first ones are very heavily inspired by actual Pokemon. These days, you know, many of them are good um, conversion evolutions or, or regional variants. Or we can definitely apply that to this one as well. Um, and of course, this one I made when I was around 13. So this is the newest, with the exception of the ones I'm making currently, versions of them. And it will be fun to look through them. And we will go through the first generation, and then I have multiple. So if you guys like this, let me know, and there will be more. So let's start out, which many of you probably already know. My boy, my starter Pokemon. Hidofan, but here he's called Hypto. And he originally I made him when I was five years old, so he, he had to come. But you can see, you can see the um, evolution there as well. It's similar to my how it is today though the <laughs> far evolution is very different and uh, what even is this this is a donald duck this is this is even more donald duck than many of you say it is already t today this line this line is basically a, a fusion between charmander and the torchic line that's that's what it is but this was at yeah, that time the starter, another bird, who would have thought? Though, the current fire starter I have will come in the next generation. It's it's cool though, to be honest, it's, they're cool. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's Charizard with, with a beak. <laughs> uh, it's Charizard Blazing Fusion, that's what this is, unfortunately. And here we also have uh, Total Dial and Mudkip Fusion, unfortunately. So, you know, fair enough. They are a cool fusion, but um, actually we will see Quackert here. I will remake him, not as a starter, but I have plans for this line. Going to be very different from what you see here, but I have plans. But you know, it's cool. At the time it was like, oh, I need to make a starter. What can I do? And I made this, but this, this guy is original. I love him. And that's the reason why these guys hasn't been remade, because, you know, they are just like... They're fakes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and here we have a very obvious, like, inspiration from the Caterpillar. But, you know, they're different enough. This, I like Poop Pat. Quite cool. And as you guys have seen the latest video, we remade this line. It turned out... It started out very differently. I said just, even before this as well, just a normal bee. But today we have a beetle. That's pretty cool. Again, you guys know Plum already, originally made by my brother. When he was around um, maybe five, six or something. No, he was five, he was five. And I loved him. So we need to continue creating him. But Plum evolved very differently to what we had today. Evolved into Blunt Plum, then evolved into Blim Plum, which is completely different from from what I decided to do with it today. But who knows? Maybe they will show up in the future. We also have Tristed. Tristed will be remade as well at some point. Probably I want to make more generations, so they're probably going to be the kind of the the opposite of Blum, so to say. I really like them. And I have your Molip. It's like a Meowth wannabe electric cat. Look at this, this is this, this Meowth. Now this guy is quite cool though. I like it. I, I want to do something about, something with them. And um, maybe a variant of Meowth. It's very popular these days, so why not? Pitchy. This is, it's Pitchy. It's a rock, rock Pidgey. 
and I do would like to make a be regional variant of the PG line as a as a rock star <laughs> or something. Because look at it, it's quite cool. I I like them. Ignore the obvious, <laughs> but these these guys are interesting. So chameleons, I have a lot of chameleons. So there gonna be more. These are not my favorites. I have one further down. That is a lot cooler, but yeah, they're decent. And here we have a Geo dude <laughs> and a Graveler that gets a, a skull for some reason. It's kind of have this way back to the texture to it, but I I remember changing it a lot when I when I made it. I remade it again. This one used to look way more like Rappler. But here I made it more like a diamond dinosaur kind of thing. And it's, it's pretty cool. And this, this is quite funny. I have a friend and his brother is Steel. It's called Steel. And I saw he, he was a basketball player, very tall. And he was the... Um, he was the... Um, when I was thinking about sport, I was thinking about him. So I made loads of like sport creatures that had him as an inspiration. So we have a start out with like two boxing gloves and becomes like it's the other box. <laughs> this one is quite cool to be honest. Like I cut out um the, the the belt. And it turned you have the belt is in different colours and depending on the different colours it also differentiate between the um, the final evolution here. I like it, you know, I could see this guy being like some um, variant of, of um, Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee. Would be really, really cool. I love this line. Ignore these guys for now, but I love these guys. Dig bumps and dig bumps. <laughs> really cute guys. I, I, I love them. They will be remade. Probably not this generation, but definitely next. <sighs> You know, this was my observations and my thoughts at the time. And I was like, I saw Jinx. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to make something like Jinx. You know, I wasn't aware of of the convert, of the, <laughs> of, of all the problems that Jinx brought. But like, this is, well, <laughs> no, this one, I like, fair enough. This guy is different enough. This is interesting, you know, but. Well, well. This is the child's mind. Fascinating to look back at. Hissy. This is basically Ekins. You know, but, you know, it turns out to, yeah, it's a cobra as well, but, you know, quite cool. A lot of. <laughs> it's fascinating. And then again, we have we have yet another thing inspired by all the Pokemon. This is you know Torkoal. This is Slugma. But you know they they are different enough. They are Pokemon looking closer to each other than than the this. And uh, you know Komodo, Dragon, Fire Lizard. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Far fetched. It's just a far fetched with a gun. And I, I would love to actually create a regional variant with with the uh, far fetched that turn him into something like this. He didn't look like this in the beginning. He he earlier versions of him had a carrot instead of uh, a leek. And it, it was just straight up, straight up. Far fetched. But you know, I like bird. You may have noticed, I like birds. Talking about liking birds, talking about liking Donald Duck. Inspired again by um, the Dudo, 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 like. But <laughs> I took it a step further and I made like each one of these are connected, but that can separate. And they have each of them have has multiple legs and can be their own thing, but they choose to be together like this. So it's just four dollar ducks stuck together. Kind of fun. 
this little guy is coming. We'll be remade soon. And now another one. It's it's Steelix with uh, Onyx and Steelix. Uh, Onyx and Steelix with with uh, a lot of. It's more taking more a slug or a snail like appearance with the the shell. I do would like to create uh, variants of Onyx and Steelix being bugs. I also later on I gave it um, a pre evolution. And it's 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 fascinating. And then these lines probably started or reminds me of the Amber line, but they kinda of turn into their own thing. And for some reason I've turned them into cyborg. You know, I like I like this concept and I definitely gonna recreate it and it actually works well with the lore that I have for my region. So you can expect to see this psychic cyborg like creature. Look at you, you can you can see that it's taking some inspiration from Alakasam, yet it's its own thing. So here you just have a water drop turning into fish. Well, fair enough. I have many water-like creatures that are just starting out as a bubble or a piece of water or something, but fair enough, you know. It's not the best idea, but it's, it works. Again, very boring ghosts. It's alright, but nothing special, you know. It's this hunter. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Dratini. It could be a regional variant of Dratini that involves different like these guys. It's a very you know, normal type of dragon, but you know, fair enough. It's 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 cool, I must say. And then you have this guy. I don't know why I give him like a moustache like that. But Lady Pear, he actually earlier on looked more like Meryl, but I don't know what happened. What happened to you? <laughs> Something strange happened. And uh, it's not cute anymore. This is not cute. This is just Aaron. Aaron. No. But fair enough, it's, it's decent, you know. But in the inspiration is pretty clear. This one is more more uh, unique in that sense. I remember loving this, especially this one. I think it's very cute, and I will definitely do something about it. Just a nice fox. And I don't think I was inspired by Naruto. Although in the beginning, but probably at this point I was. But you know, it's it's a decent fox line. Pideco, Fortress. Fair enough, they're different. They could be they could be something I, I do a variant of in the future. But it's not a priority, I think. Here you have a very this this is not even a Pokemon, this just looks like something from straight out of Disney. But meant to be kinda of like or my version of the hoot who's lying. And it even it even has a pre-evolution. It's just boring. But fair enough, you know. Okay, okay, it's it's nothing to say. This line, however, this line now looking very much like the monk shop line. But I kinda of taken it a step further. And and this line will be remade because I love how I just noticed he has a lot of different like sport balls from different spots. <laughs> okay. Um he actually evolves in this type. And I really like the idea of kinda of like this this freak. It has mutated, which again works very well with my region. So I have some IDs for this month. So expect to see them and I, I think they're pretty cool you know decent frog muscle frog <laughs> turning into this abomination but I like it and then you have this line and I remember originally it didn't have a female evolution obviously it turns into this and then 
sentence into uh, and then it turns into the female or male just decent I, th I think there used to be better I think that these designs are a little bit watered down I liked them more before you know lightning lion or lion Turden was a lion thunder cool idea not super unique but you know it's fair enough and the counterpart here we have we have some uh, what's the name wolves two different evolutions depending on on uh, the male and female i love this one so this one was lightning this one was um the the moon and i have i have the chameleons here they were kind of like point this was kind of like a line that that um that the four quad, four lines that kind of stick together and that all also have an a, a legendary um that is kind of like the the pack leader and the, the all these guys the lightning line the the um, wolf this is my favorite salamander line that i created not a final evolution but these two i love them and uh, expect them to be see expect them to be remade and i have this <laughs> uh he used to be very decent like he just looked like a bird so i was like let's just make him into a dinosaur i look so terrifying but all these four lines will be remade i love this line fruit manta i love it fruit bun there will be the there will be the um, there will be the um, what's the name studio legendaries for my next region i already already decided on the ones gonna have now i love this and i've made it into an ice cream kind of dinosaur and it's, it's amazing i love i love it one of the best designs I, i've made in my opinion at least the concept. And this guy, Pig Dog, is just side up with with spikes. But at least it turns into no, oh, it has another evolution. If it's cooler than side up, no, it's just way too much going on. But I like the idea of a regional side up. And I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna remake it as a side up uh, um, Convergent or Psyduck uh, regional form. Seagull. Just you know, you know, uh, it's it's a it's a decent uh, octopus. Different enough, yes. He has clear inspiration from some Pokemon, but you know, you know, fair enough. You know, I like them. I, I think they will definitely show up at some point. Just pseudo widow. Tropical pseudo widow. I don't think I will do anything about it, but maybe one day, maybe I will make a regional variant of Sudoodo. A pariah and a shark, like, it's like gold and fish. Not a goldfish, but like, interesting. I, I do think I will, I like the ID. And I would love to do something about them. They probably will look very different. I love this line. Good come. The name Good come was actually inspired by someone I used to play basketball with. And he smelled so bad. His sweat, poor dude. He smelled horribly. And his name was a Good come. And I was like, let's create a cucumber because a Gurk in the region is cucumber. And then the sediment of cucumber that turns into a rock cactus. I love it. I love it. I expect this line for sure. Then we have some fossils here. It's obvious inspiration from the Kabuto line. But they're golden. And that's quite cool. I think I will do something about it as well. He will hold some gold in his hands. Very nice. But I, I, I like the concept of being engulfed in gold. Loads of potential. I actually have big plans for this line. Maybe not their evolutions, but 
I'm thinking about making a, a regional uh, or a Pikachu clone out of a platypus. In since my my all my starters are um, are uh, what's the word? Hand beaks. I was thinking, well, obviously the Pikachu line needs to have a beak as well. So I'm gonna make 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 that. I really like this. Like this is this is uh, ant eater and a duck. I think it's very cool. Might do something about that. Slugma again. That turns into a, a firebird. <laughs> Slugma turns into Moltres basically. Just a bootlegged one. But all right, all right. <laughs> Just this one shoot of this random fairy Pokemon. But, you know, it's fair. I mean, you know, cute, cute. I love this line. I used to used to used to used to, used to read the thing in Norwegian is called Grasir, like horror books basically. And this something like this was on the cover, and I loved it. And I decided to make a Pokemon out of it. So this line will definitely be remade. Probably the next one, and not this region, but I I definitely will remake it. This line also, I I want them to be the counterpart for, uh, for my um, what's the name for the for a cucumber line. A s snowman, co cowboy snowman. How dumb it! How cute! Or it's not that cute, but it's cool, you know. Snow punch. In Britain and in Norwegian English. This line will be remade for sure. And here we have. <laughs> a Snorlax line that has gone through some stuff. It's, yeah, it evolves again, becomes this cyborg, open flesh wound, monster of of um, Snorlax. It would be kind of interesting to be honest. Maybe not to keep it a flesh wound, but it would be kind of interesting to to remake this. But I like the previous versions more. Here yeah, they are kind of ugly. And uh, if you guys want at some point, we can always go back and visit older versions to see how they used to look. Next up here we have the Turaga Baby. I love the name. I use the name in many different ways. Even the um, final evolution that of my grass daughter, uh, High Rolter, used to have the name to the other days as well. Which I love it. But it used to be just like um, it used to be uh, what's the name? A Kangaskhan rip off. The Kangaskhan dinosaur rip off. But you know, female version male version and its pre-evolution is actually the one that you see in the pouch that's how pokemon should have done it not what i've done with kangaskhan this is how they should have done it at least they should have fixed it later on the mega evolution kind of did it all right we need that we need that little kangaskhan to be its pre-evolution and that's what i've done there this guy kind of makes me uncomfortable but all right maybe that's what i try to go for interesting here we have our first legendary expect to uh, see him as one of my legendaries in my current region Sid Dragon love him I like him again more in his previous versions especially when I first made him he looked so cool here I tried to make him a little more scary looking and then kind of had I I, I I, this used to be one line or one dragon. I split him into and made him like the the region, uh, the the legendary exclusive Pokemon for each game. And maybe I will do something like that now. And maybe not. I'm I'm not sure yet. But here we have the um, what I told you about earlier: the legendary wolf, the legendary salamander, the legendary lion, and the legendary bird so to say these guys will be remade I love them I really really love them 
so they will be created again as legendaries. And these two guys will be very important as well. Dark Flam, Flam, Dark Flam and Light Flam. I have IDs for these guys. I have some IDs. So yeah, that was the first generation. Been modified for a while. They, they have changed over time. This again is the latest version of them. And um, what do you think? Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like. And let me know which Pokemon you actually like the most. Because they may be remade in a future video. And of course check out my previous video. Where I make my regional bug Pokemon. Let me know which one is your favorite there as well. And please follow me here. Follow me on other social media. That fake Pokemon content will always come out on YouTube first. Well, unless you're on my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.